What is up everybody, it is that time of the month again. In this video we take a look at the August edition of the Core Supply Discovery Box from Asset Drop. So join me after the bump and let's crack it open and take a look inside this month's box. So in this month's box we are greeted by the usual uh, packaging we got our little booklet, as usual, and let's go ahead and just unfold this. I'm not going to go too much into detail what Acid Drop is. If you saw my last video, you should be caught up. And uh, in this box, we are greeted by several interesting items. So let's go ahead and pull those out of the box and uh, have a look at them one by one, shall we? So the theme of this month's box is base works, something that becomes evident when we pull out the first couple of items. The number one item that I pulled out is the Serious Play Well Water Effects from SeriousPlay.co.uk. And it uh, comes with a set of gloves and uh, a part A and part B, or yeah, I believe so, yeah, so it's a... Uh, Probably a two-part resin comes with a little set of instructions. Go ahead and set that aside. Take a look at those real quick. Uh, yeah, how to use and a little bit of a safety data sheet. And I believe, since it's part A and part B, mixed by weight, two parts A to one part B. Yep, that is a resin. So that's going to be interesting to try and uh, m create some effects with further down the line. The second item in this month's box are two paints from a company called Hataka Hobby and they are apparently based out of Poland and um, what they specialize in is making very accurate scale color paints uh, where they basically sample a piece of original paint from a military vehicle and they try and replicate it to the best of their ability so never heard of them before um, again that's the point of these boxes is to discover new products and try new things and in this month's set is uh, gray blue Fonze, and ocean gray so those gonna be fun I have a couple of projects lined up down the line where those might come in handy moving on they have given us some bags of basing materials from also from serious play the first one is dark mossy fields modeling flock and the second one is some mixed cork now, if you're unfamiliar with basing for miniatures cork is one of those essential things uh, which is great for replicating rocks and that is exactly what they intend for you to do with this moving on uh, they have also included I believe this is a um, piece of uh, modeling clay, like air drying clay. I'm not entirely sure, uh, but you can never have too many of uh, things like this. It's always handy if you're scratch building or just need a specific shape of something on a base or a model. So uh, that's handy dandy. That goes straight into my toolkit. Furthermore, they have included two paints from a company that I actually found out about through Acid Drop, and it is Instar Washes. They also make paints, but these are a small family owned company based out of Britain which specializes in recreating discontinued paints from Citadel in the, the shades that people love and miss. So, uh, in this month's box, we have Heavy Brown and Heavy Black. And uh, can't wait to try these out either. These are, uh, hopefully, hopefully they are what I think they are. And if they are, these are going to be great for an upcoming painting project that I have had on the back burner for a while. The final item in the box are paints from Dark Star. And they also fit in with the... This month's theme of base works, and these are different shades of copper. And of course, usually the, they will add the guides to use these um, and how to uh, you know create the effects intended by the curator. So we have copper, 
we have aged copper and polished copper. Now these are probably useful for more than just copper. You can probably use them for different uh, shades of gold, which I have some Age of Sigmar figures, which I think I might try these on. They, uh, they look fairly high quality, so that's gonna be interesting. So let's just give a, have a quick look at this month's booklet and uh, take a look and see about the different uh, different techniques they cover. So as usual, you have the information about the um, MSRP for the paints they included, what they are, uh, little information about the companies, and we just dive right into painting copper. They give you a little step-by-step -step guide here, um, how to add patina to them, etc., etc. Uh, p painting cloth with the ocean gray and the uh, the highlight color that they gave from uh, Hataka Hobby and continues on to uh, fabrics and water effects and here's the, uh, the two-part resin they also talk a little bit about the corks and moss included and uh, that's about it for uh, for this month I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I will keep making these as I get my boxes, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.